something is coming unlike ever before. And if you are not prepared, you are going to be deceived and destroyed by the devil. Man, I'm telling you right now, I just had a dream the other night and I feel God powerfully spoke something to me that will absolutely rock your world. He showed me something that's about to come. I believe this dream is going to change your life completely. And look, I, I know only 10% of people are actually going to watch this video to the very end and find out the secret to what they must do before it's too late. If you want to be that person to find out what you need to do to prevent this from happening, you have to watch to the end of this video, okay? With that being said, guys, let's get straight into this one. Now, God does speak to people, warn people, tell people what to do, gives them instructions inside of dreams. I'm going to prove this to you. It literally says right here inside of Job chapter 33, verse 15 through 17. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men while slumbering on their beds, then he, talking about God, opens the ears of men and seals their instruction in order to turn man from his deed and conceal pride from man. Now, I'm about to tell you what the Lord revealed to me in this dream. But look, if you have not joined my Patreon yet, you're missing out. And that I have left in the link of the description, guys. I will teach you everything you need to know when it comes to going viral for Jesus. You get access to the Discord godly community, friends and family that will challenge you and push you in your faith as we are in these last days, as well as the other day or just last night, guys, I had a Zoom call with the, some of the guys on there and the spirit moved powerfully. I'm telling you, you are not going to want to miss out on what the Lord is doing on my Patreon. I'm going to be starting my online church on there that is, I believe, going to change the lives of millions and millions of people. So you're not going to want to miss out. I made it as cheap as possible, $7 a month. So if you are um, willing and um, you have the, the capability to join, I've made it as cheap as possible, $7 a month. That's it. But with that, all that being said, let's get into the my dream and what the Lord revealed to me. Okay, so first of all, I just remember inside of this dream, I could tell that there were all these Christians that were gathered in different areas and different places, kind of separated, but we were all together at this one event. Now, I honestly believe that that was kind of a representation of how the body of Christ, Christians are sort of divided, how there's all the different denominations, uh, different categories of believers and all that, but Beside the point, listen, so we're all gathered at this event and out of nowhere, uh, I was just talking to my brother and stuff and I saw something happen in the sky. I looked up and I saw this star just randomly glow, become very bright and shoot away. And then I saw another star do the same thing. And then out of nowhere, all these stars started falling from heaven. I saw them inside the dream become super bright and just start falling falling you could just see them falling in the sky you could almost like feel a vibration like they were hitting the earth or say it was just crazy and then when i saw that out of nowhere the whole sky lit up on fire and i could see fire falling from heaven which is very interesting because it literally says inside of revelation that one of the signs that the beast of revelation will perform will be fire falling from heaven so that's what i saw in my dream and inside my dream listen listen this is very critical my dream, I thought that Jesus was coming back for sure. I was shaking my brother and saying, Logan, Logan, because that, that's his name. I was telling him, dude, Jesus is coming back. What are you doing, bro? Jesus is coming back. This is it. This is it. It's all over. We're going to be taken up with the Lord and escort him back to earth. It's over. Jesus is returning. And all these other Christians I could just see were waiting for Jesus' return. We're totally taken, captivated. They all got on the highest hills possible possible to um, get as close as possible in proximity to what God was, well, what they thought was what God was doing. But then my brother looked at me and said, JJ, this is not as you say. This is not what you think is happening. This is not Jesus coming back. You are being deceived. And he took me to this place. I was just like, what? What are you talking about, bro? Bro, do you not see what's happening in the sky? Do you not see the signs? Isn't this what the Bible said was going to happen? So then my brother said, JJ, follow me. And a lot of you guys may not know my brother, Logan, 
but um, he is he has a crazy testimony. I've shared it on my YouTube before, so you can check that out. Maybe I'll leave that in the link in the description of this video. But God radically changed him and saved his life. He's incredibly discerning. Um, he's on fire for the Lord, and God has used him majorly in my life. So I think that God was kind of showing me something through my brother um, in this dream because uh, my brother is someone I, I look to and I trust. But yeah, so my brother in the dream said, follow me. And he took me to this little place where I saw all this um, technology that they were using to basically holograms, making it look like stars were falling from heaven, making it look like fire was falling from heaven. It was like real, but not real. A lot of it was robotics. And then some stuff they were actually being able to they were able to manipulate inside of the sky. So they were using technology to make it seem like Jesus was coming back. And even I was deceived inside of my dream. So look, then what happened was out of nowhere, when my brother and I discovered the technology, he told me, he said, look, war is coming. What's happening is war is about to start. And then I saw all the Christians gathered on these mountains because they thought that Jesus was coming back. So they got in these high places. I realized that they, become inst they became instantly vulnerable for attack. And out of nowhere, out of nowhere, they started taking their technology, launching it on the people, killing tons of people with the, the, with the falling stars, all this stuff, all this technology. They started wiping out tons and tons and tons of Christians because they deceived them to get on the mountains and become vulnerable. And I almost was deceived, but my brother warned me and showed me. And then they started sh trying to shoot at us, but we were able to find cover and shelter and they couldn't touch those who were not deceived inside of my dream. And that started a huge war between the real Christians and then the devil and his minions, the people that were um, working alongside the devil in high positions of leadership through wicked technology and all that type of stuff. But you're going to notice in my dream, all the lukewarm, all the carnal Christians uh, were the ones that were deceived thinking that Jesus had come back. I mean, even I was this close to being deceived, but God saved me inside of the dream. Now listen to me right now. I really believe the Lord um, gave me this dream for a uh, divine purpose, a divine reason. This is not even stuff I think about. It was out of nowhere. It felt incredibly spiritual. And I literally felt when I was in the dream, like it was completely real. And you, some of you know those dreams where it feels completely real. God is often trying to speak to people through dreams. It's very, very, very common. There are tons, I've heard tons of testimonies of people who've been saved from certain dreams. So this, this stuff's real, man. I believe that God is war was warning me, and I believe he's called me to warn all of you that there is going to be some crazy end times deception, probably in the next 10 years, probably th from 2025 to 20 2035 and beyond. There is going to be some crazy end times deception. Right now, you've seen stuff like them talking about aliens that have made it on like New York's Times, um, other major news networks, guys. And they have been able to deceive certain people into thinking that aliens are invading. Aliens are real. And of course, we've seen other people shut up some of that stuff. But right now, I'm telling you, they're working on technology that can easily deceive so many people through holograms, artificial intelligence. I mean, AI is brilliant. And I've talked about this in some of my videos, talking about how the image inside of Revelation, I really believe, is AI technology, the, the, the image, the idol, the comes to life because of the Antichrist. I believe that idol is going to exercise um, the power to kill Christians. <laughs> so it, it's just a bunch of radical stuff, guys. But here's the point. Look, you cannot be deceived. There's going to be a lot of Christians. So the, the fake Christians, we're going to see a great divide. I, I felt the Lord tell me this. We're going to see a great divide between real Christians and fake Christians soon. Okay, God is refining his people. We're going through this process of going through the fire and those who make it out will survive. But those who don't, won't. So I'm telling you right now, guys, the devil is using all sorts of things right now and putting all these ideas in people's minds to deceive the world. I believe Christians are gonna think they're gonna probably do something like an alien invasion. Maybe they will make it seem like Jesus is coming back, right? Because the Bible talks about um, how there will be false Christ that arise. So, 
I'm just here to say, look, there is going to be a time where Jesus comes back and he could come back at any moment. But don't be surprised, okay, if they try to deceive you and make you think that he has. I believe a lot of people, a lot of Christians will even think the Antichrist is Jesus, okay? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not foolish in this regard. I really believe that there's going to be so many people deceived. And if you have been that one person to come across this video, it's no coincidence. Look, God is preparing you. God is warning you. I believe God is showing you that something is coming unlike ever before. There's going to be a great deception that falls on the body of Christ and a great divide between the real and fake. And soon war is going to start between the people of Christ and the people of the devil. And God is drafting people right now. He's already put this on my heart. He is drafting people right now, preparing them to fight in battle. I'm here to challenge you today. Are you ready? Are you prepared for what's to come? Now, if you have made it this far in the video, let's go because I'm about to share with you what you need to do. So first, the first thing you need to do is warn everyone you can. Tell as many Christians in your life as possible. Even if you got to show them this video, if you got to uh, just tell them what you believe about this and how it could be possible, tell them, warn them, okay? The Bible says people are going to perish for lack of knowledge, okay? People will perish for lack of knowledge. So inform people what's to come, okay? So they're accountable for what's to come. This is the heart of God. You got to also be preaching the gospel. Preach the gospel to as many people as possible. The Bible says the gospel needs to be preached to every person, to everyone before he comes back, to all the ends of the earth. So the gospel needs to be preached everywhere before Jesus returns. So play a role in preaching the gospel. Next thing you need to be doing is casting out demons like never before. Notice that Jesus said when he cast out a demon, it was a sign that the kingdom of God had come down to earth. So the kingdom of God is coming down to earth soon. This is what the Bible says in Revelation, right? Jesus is coming back soon. He's going to bring the kingdom with him. So you need to start preparing for Jesus' return by casting out demons, setting his people free, set as many people free as possible. I'm telling you, God is wanting to do major deliverance on people all throughout the world. People are open to all sorts of garbage and junk, and depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, voices in their head, all the stuff that is taking place, lustful addictions. God can deliver you from that. God can get rid of that spirit of lust. God can cast these demons out, okay? So he's gonna use you to do it though. So cast demons out of God's people unlike ever before in the name of Jesus. And then lastly, of course not completely lastly because there's so much more you still wanna do, but lastly, for this video, these are just the most important things. I believe God wants you to pray unlike ever before. Pray, 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 I mean pray. It's gonna be the people who have a real prayer life with God who aren't deceived, okay? The people who do not pray will be deceived. Mark my words, pray unlike ever before. And then intercede, when you're praying, intercede for the next generation. Intercede for Christians all over the world, intercede for the draft, the drafted warriors God is bringing to the battlefield. Intercede. When I say intercede, I mean pray that God gives these people strength, man. Pray for all the people in your life who you think could be deceived. Pray and pray for people unlike ever before. Intercede for these people, man, for the next up and coming generation. I'm telling you right now, you are a product of someone's prayers. I promise you right now, God has moved in your life through other people's prayers. For people who came generations, centuries before you, praying for this very generation you're in right now. Dang, I feel the spirit. Okay, so you need to be praying for people that are to come in the next and final generation. All right, guys, so man, that's gonna wrap up today's video. But look, again, if you're serious about your faith, you want godly community, godly group, you wanna know how more in depth with how you can prepare for everything to come, and you, you just wanna talk more in person with me, join the weekly Zoom calls, get to know the community, and just um, learn to go viral for Jesus, Jesus as well, because something he's calling us to do in these last days, guys, is preach the gospel online, because uh, there's a time to throw a line, but there's also a time to cast a net. And right now, I believe God is casting a net, trying to reach as many people as possible through the digital networking system. But yeah, with that being said, guys, 
you can join the Patreon, made it cheap, cheap as possible, again, $7. If you want to just gain access to the Discord, then you can just become a member of this channel and get also exclusive perks and badges and emotes and all that type of stuff. Completely up to you. But yeah, uh, don't forget to let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments about this one. Check out my merch store. I'll leave that in the link in the description. The devil tries to get people to dress like hell. I say, let's dress like Jesus in Jesus' name, okay? So give that a check. Um, subscribe, like the video. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this. Stay in revival, stay tuned in the word of God, and continue to seek him with all your heart. God bless you guys. I love you very much. Thank <music> you.